A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Darkness Falls mod. So yeah, we just took out a wandering horde. There's still a few left over there, the ferals and dogs and stuff. But other than that, we should be good to go. Uh, just to be careful that there's no dog on this side. I could have still heard the whimpering or the breathing of a dog over here. That's going to be bad. I want to go for the bookstore over here quickly. I want to see if we can't also clear it out just for the Horde Knight that's approaching. Um, Horde Knights in Darkness Falls are insane. And especially in insane difficulty. So I want to make sure we clear out this place. Just to make sure the zombies can't get to the roof. And then we can just have a rooftop Horde Knight. Um, I am still going to have to make a Horde base. Actually, I'm thinking of making my Horde base and my home base at Razors again. Now that we have a design that really works... It's going to work with Horde Knight as well, not just Wandering Hordes. I'm just so scared of jumping down and having a dog down here. You're not feral, right? No, she's not running. I knew I heard a dog. I knew it. Okay, I could use a Molotov on these two. Now, how do I get to... Is he going to run all the way in? Yep. And still... Oh, I did not... I uh, didn't know they can jump. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, doggy, you showed me something I didn't know just now. Good on you. Oh, there's a fence over there. I can go take him down. Nice. That was a power attack. I mean, it was a power attack, but that was a power shot. Should probably go and skin this dog off there as well. Okay. Yeah, um... <laughs> I didn't realize he can get up over there. I'd rather put myself in barbed fence than getting bitten by a dog. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Now we have another backup weapon. If I can silence this gun, we have a silenced long-range weapon. Oh, there's dogs inside of here as well. We have to be careful. Why are there eggs in the trash? And they're edible as well. Yuck. I'm going to make sure I step back every time I smack him so he doesn't crawl towards me. Okay, so now if I can stealth clear this place first and then loot the books, that would be awesome. I think usually the zombies aren't on this side. They're on that side over there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hello, business lady. Please don't tell me you're feral. Yep, you're feral. It's like the game says, ha ha. Okay. I think she might be able to jump this as well, but let's just hope not. We have to make sure that he doesn't jump and smack us. Or destroy this dumpster, because this dumpster is our fallback spot right now. Every time we see a feral, we just go for it. Okay, that is a radiator dude. But he seems to be weak radiator because it's a yellow U to him. Safe cracking, thank you. Mining we can do on our own. Shotguns we can do on our own. Archery notes, yes. Bladed weapons, yes. Stuff they'll be using right now. Yes, please. Blunt weapons we're not going to use. Sniper rifle we might use later. And scrap these. The more notes we can get right now, the better. That's why I'm trying to scrap as many of these as possible. If we're not going to use them, we're not going to use them. Why wait? See, there's going to be a zombie at the back over there. We can do a one block jump right now. So what I can do, do this, do this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hello, mister. Mr. Speedy Boy. I imagine he's able to jump on this piece of cloth of here. I wouldn't put it past him. We're going to bleed out. You might also be feral, but I think that's the last zombie. Usually there's only one or two at the back of here. That's another feral. Okay, now we just have to... Guys, if you hear like a squeaking sound in the back, um, that's just my aunt's the one dog. He's getting really old right now, so every time they go away, um, yeah, he, he, he cries, basically. It's a massive separation anxiety. 
They spoil the dogs too much, and then the dogs are like, no, don't leave me. I need to smack you in the face, but you keep running away from me. Come this side, please. You have to be careful. They can jump and hit at the same time. And if that happens right now, he's going to smack the hell out of me. I'm thinking of getting all the corn and stuff of here as well. Thank you, thank you. Although that only counts as one corn for some reason. I think this is way faster getting this for now. Usually I use a bone knife, which is fast. But uh, since I'm using the machete right now, it's, yeah, it's not fast enough. There shouldn't be any other zombie. No, I say as I see this dude. At least I don't think these can be feral, can they? I know the radiated zombies can definitely be feral, but the weak ones, I can't remember seeing a feral one before. Perhaps a nighttime running one, but not a feral one. I should be careful outside as well. You can hear the stuff outside moving around. I think let's go outside. Uh, let's go upstairs and just clear this place first. Broken, broken, so we can loot. Ooh, look at all the food we're getting from these. But yeah, if we can clear this place out for Horde Night right now, this will be awesome. I don't know if in three days' time they'll be able to refresh or reset this place. Hopefully not. I'm going to clear this place out now so we don't have to worry on day seven of like, oh no, what are we going to do? Well, I have, to, I have to take out the ladder and stuff of here too. There might be a feral here, so I have to be careful. And then pistol no, scrap, scrap, scrap. Oh crap. Where did you come from? Oh, they smacked through over here. Uh, must have been a wandering horde. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, that was um, unintentional almost death. Damn. I didn't realize that they were actually breaking through over there, so just now, safe cracking, yes, thank you. Okay, infection, I'll have to take, uh, honey. I don't think it's a 100% chance, it's like a 50% chance. Okay, yeah, um, block that, please. That could have killed me just now. Is this guy going to be a feral, or is he going to be a normal zombie? Let's see. There's usually behind these pallets of here a construction worker or a janitor. Hello, hello, hello. See, I know the game too well. Just a normal janitor. There's only one of you. At least we have the bleeding mod on here, so as long as we just do left clicks, they should bleed out. I mean, it's over time, but still, uh, them just bleeding out is a major win for us. Okay, I don't want to waste my lockpick. Oh, uh, we have five. Let's try. It does feel like the lockpicks every now and then break a little bit too fast. Scrapping all these notes. I'm not holding onto a single one right now. Oh, hello. You might have been a feral. I should have checked better. If he was a feral just now, I would have been so screwed. Oh, they busted through over there as well. See, this must have been wandering hordes and stuff because these fences are usually not broken. So every time a wandering horde comes to me, they spawn all over the place. Even inside of here, they bust out to try and get to me. Oh, there's going to be a vulture that side. There's going to be zombies over here. Oof. If I can, I'd really like to sneak past all of these and hit him with a hunting rifle. I wonder though, if I were to sneak all the way across and try and kill the ones at the back, whether I'd be able to take care of him, uh, or say I shoot him with a hunting rifle now, are the rest going to wake up and come for me? All of us, okay, uh, wait, this is skinnable, but just very... Oh, there's a dog outside. That scared the crap out of me just now. Okay. So the moment I shoot, all of these zombies are going to wake up. But I need to take that cop down. And I don't think I'll be able to take him down with a 
Whoa. Wait, what? No one woke up. It seems that's how you have to skin them now. You look up, and then you uh, swing, and then as soon as it swings, you look down, and then it does damage. It's not supposed to be that way, though. Just a normal uh, zombie businessman. If I can take care of them upstairs, we don't have to worry about looting the stuff downstairs. Come on, I can't afford to waste arrows. Especially since you don't get them back. Seems it's just this one. Okay, if I can... Shoot and see if there's anything inside of here, because I don't think the rest is going to be... If there's nothing inside of these over here, or even if they are on, we can just take care of them first. We'll be able to snipe the hazmat like we did the cop. Yeah, she's weaker. I don't mind sniping her. Like so. If she was another cop or something just now, that would have been a different story. Okay, so now we do this. It seems just one shot's not enough to wake up zombies right now. That's awesome. I need to make sure there's no more of here though. So I'm gonna have to run like this and hope nothing wakes up. Usually these guys fall down when you step on stuff downstairs. And then you have to hurry and rush because these guys are gonna come for you. Okay, so now it's just a dog over here. Okay, usually what I do is I go for the see-through block. Boom. And we are done. Okay, uh, there might be something in the wall of here, so I'm just going to check this. Or we use this one. Nope. Well, there is a space for something in the wall, but there was nothing this time. Okay, so another college jacket, puffer coat, coin, uh, or cash. Button, not bad. Uh, mining, yeah, I want to get the mining up just because I'm not mining that much that often. The arrows, I want to be able to invest in the arrow skill because at this stage you can shoot three shots or two or three shots. Uh, 8k, no thank you. Safe cracking, yes. The higher our safe cracking right now, the less it's going to fail. And that's definitely a bonus. Oh, nice. Blueberry clan. It's not my birthday, but thank you. Let's see. Healing, yes. And then, boom, not bad. This loot over here is actually really good. Just put on there for now. This one is the same as mine that I currently have on. We can use these, but I think the knife is still a little bit better. 16.5. Yeah, I'll just scrap that. Stun baton can be good in this mod. Uh, but I prefer the knife bleeding. Although I might be able to use both. Bleed, uh, stun him and then bleed him. Or bleed him and then stun him. I should probably start uh, holding on to the turrets as well, because you're going to use that for farming later. Okay, so this place is done. Just have to go drop everything else off. For some reason, it seems you can't skin animals anymore. Look at that. There's way too much HP. The dogs you can't skin, the vultures you can't skin. I don't know if it's just because of a Hell on Earth mode, or if it's something to do with the, um, the mod itself, because of the 5.1 changes. See, that's the only thing right now that we won't know. You have to be careful. There's still so many zombies alive from the Wandering Horde. We have to leave the whole area over here. Oh, crap. We have to leave the whole area for them to despawn right now. Okay, did not know he was feral. That was a bad one. Okay, if I can just shoot him from over here. Making so much noise. Yeah, there might still be some wandering zombies left over here. Oh, another wrench. Nice. To make sure there's no holes in the trader because that just now at the the bookstore really that scared the crap out of me. For sore eyes. What can I get you? Okay, it's day four, so antibiotics. Yes, that's a lot of. Oh, that's just all my cash gone, and then resources. 
I'm gonna buy some cobble. Cobble's really cheap to buy, so you can just all buy it. It's a shame there's no mechanical parts, though, because I definitely would have bought that as well. Fuel, 94. Some stuff's super, super inexpensive. Other stuff's just super, super expensive. Scrap iron knuckles. Oh, nail, nail bombs. They don't have like, uh, enough cash left. Damn. I'll have to keep these, though, so I can't sell them. This one I might be able to sell. I need to buy more nail bombs. Thanks for letting me take care of you. It's one of my favorite yeah, weapon uh, or uh, explosives right now because it bleeds out a massive group of zombies. It does slight explosion damage, but then just the bleed effect after is insane. Okay, food and drink. Make sure we are full before leaving this place. I think I was actually also making some drinks over here. Yep. It feels like a waste to put one of these in there, so I'll just wait for now. Okay, any other food and drink? No. And then over here, we just do this. Okay, so. Uh, we can put this on one of our weapons. I wonder if I can actually put it on here. Yes. <laughs> so now it's going to bleed them and set them alight at the same time. This one, like I said, is good, but only sometimes. This one, I want to arrange for parts. I need to make more arrows and stuff as well, so... I have to focus on that too. Only problem right now is this just the amount of resources, because we need wood. I should probably go chop down a few trees at night, but it's so dangerous at nighttime as well. Now we'll just put these in there. Okay, armor is broken. What do we need to repair the armor? Cloth. Not bad, okay. Cloth, although the quality is going to go down, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, did that really go down or not? I don't, I don't think that actually went down. Oh, no, that went down. Oh yeah, that one's that one was nine. I was about to say, damn, it didn't feel like it went down just now. Okay, so uh, we have two treasure chests right next to each other. Ooh, airdrop. We'll go for the lady killer and then we'll go for the airdrop and then we'll go up for the fetch. And then hopefully we're not too encumbered by the time we get back. Now that we've taken out the bookstore, we just have to take out the ladder and we should be good to go for the horde night. Okay, nice. Yeah, look, I get that dogs are supposed to, like, uh, one day for them is, like, longer for uh, for them than for us because of their lifespans and stuff. But, I mean, when my when my aunt or uncle just goes to, like, the restroom, for example, the dogs would sit outside and cry because they feel like the, uh, the my aunt and uncle is going to leave them. I feel like that's a little bit too much. I understand dogs loving you and you loving your dogs, but for dogs to be that attached, so you just, you going to the toilet, they think you're leaving them. That's just, that's too much. And sometimes, especially when the aunt and uncle uh, come back from work, whew, it sounds like the dogs are dying from like just barking and crying and stuff. It's a little bit too much. Uh, basically, I went from a dog person to not a dog person just because of what our aunt and uncle did to our dogs. Okay, let's see. I don't have a pipe, the one on me right now, so I'll have to do this. Oh, I actually want to see if I can't use... Oh, she's going to be dead. Um, I need to see if I can't go for more stamina. I need stamina regen right now. You're going to bleed out. Heals. Wrong time to look for this, but I need stamina. Ooh, I'm still not high enough level. You're dead. Man, these knives are now awesome. And this is just a bone uh, knife or bone machete. Hello, ladies. Come on. You're dead, but let me just help you out. Oh, that was almost a mistake. I don't want to get infected again. It seems every time the zombies hit you, it's like a guaranteed infection in this. I, th I think it's a hell on earth thing. It's a guaranteed infection every time they smack you. Okay, Lady Killer done. Let's really go. Uh, every time I pass a... What's it called? A uh, stump. I need to try and see if I can break it for some honey. So far, we've been able to buy the honey, but every time a zombie hits us, we get infected. And the honey, it seems, only has a small percentage chance of actually healing you. So we're going to need way, way, way more honey. Every time I see trees and stuff like this, I should probably go for them as well. Especially if they're apples. Later, you're going to need to have apples for animal feed. And you're also going to... Well, you also do need the oranges and stuff. There's trees over there as well. Um, you need the apples for animal feed. And you also need to make seeds and stuff for the one class. So if you have these, you can actually make a ton of animal feed. Make chicken coops, beehives, all that stuff. We make sure there's no animal over here. Because we're so close to the snow biome, we have to be careful of mountain lions. Because they can... Yeah, I think they're going to kill us way faster than a wolf can. 
But yeah, I'm going to go for all of these apple trees and orange trees and stuff right now. The orange trees can give us orange tea. And the apple trees can give us um, animal feed and obviously more seeds for more apple trees. There's a hazmat dude over there. We have to be careful of him getting closer. I swear, if Kane also adds it where the zombies spawn in for the airdrops... Oh, hello. That's going to be bad. Imagine getting to an airdrop, all of a sudden zombies spawn around you and it's like demons and stuff, or ferals. Okay, so we have to go up to that fetch over there. Okay. So like I said, every time we see an ATM, we have to go for, uh, for it because this is what you need for the, uh, for the vending machines now. It's actually a massive adjustment. Going from only needing coins to now having to make sure you don't forget to save your cash. Because in all other mods, you sell the cash. Now, if you accidentally do that, you're like, oh no, now I can't buy from the vending machines anymore. But yeah, that's why every time I pass a shop, I want to try and lockpick them. We're actually very close to the... Oh, I was going to say, yeah, we're very close to the trader because we see this box store over here. This is why I died. I died a BS death in my previous series over here. Basically, a for those of you guys that saw it, you know, uh, uh, what's it called? A biker, a feral biker, charged at me. It was nighttime, uh, but I charged at me and I wasn't able to move because I got stuck on something invisible. And because of that, I ended up dying. If I didn't get stuck, I would have been able to make it out, I think, I hope. But yeah, he was basically pressing me so hard up against the wall that I couldn't move at all. Ended up just taking me down. Okay, I don't have to waste stamina, but I did. Uh, it's gonna be over here. Yeah, this place. I hate this place. I really, really you know, let's do this another way. We're gonna start the quest, but I know where to go now because there's ferals and stuff falling out the roof. So instead, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start the fetch. I mean, it's just a fetch. We don't even have to clear the whole place. And then we're gonna go this way. That's locked. Although you can lock pick a door. Also, this bathroom over here. If I can still keep this door over here, it's going to help us. That's why I'm trying to lockpick it right now. The zombie's going to fall from the roof. And because it's insane difficulty and up, it's like hell on earth. Okay, it seems this time there's nothing there. Unless they only... Oh, it triggers. Okay, at least that door's now open. I open that door because we're gonna have to fall down there basically. But since I open that door, we'll be able to get out easier. I hope. Mega crush. Be careful of zombies. Basically, we have to go over there to turn off this fire to be able to get to the roof. But need to be careful of ferals. Hopefully he's not feral. Form of that, not feral. Cool. And the nice thing is they don't aggro. Imagine if they also aggro. That would have been bad. Okay, so over here. We go over here. Come on, we have to get into the roof. This dude's not feral. How do I know? Because he's not on fire. That sound bothers the hell out of me. Um, in Ravenous, when the when the game makes that sound, it usually means your gun's broken and you have to you, you lost your gun. Because in Ravenous, if your gun breaks, it breaks with all the mods and everything that might be on it. Let me just go back down over here. I could technically just hop through here. Boom, done. They fall from the roof, I'm screwed. Ooh, range schematic, nice. Come on. See, I'm playing it smart right now. I'm gonna go on the roof. If I can't kill them, I can't kill them, and then I already have my stash. The quest is done. We'll go up there just in case to see if we can do some stuff. But I doubt it. Wait, where? Oh, am I supposed to actually go from that side? So you run up over here, you run up over here, you run, 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 run. Jump up over here. Be careful of any vultures. Yep. Hello, vulture. 
I want to test how to skin this vulture because the vultures. Yeah, look at that. But if I do this, I was actually able to. I don't know if I'm supposed to wait a little bit longer, like in Ravenist. In Ravenist, you can't skin the zombies and you have to come back and then all of a sudden they're skinnable. Earlier, I was able to uh, take a bird apart by smacking it like this and I got the resources. But I think that's a bug. That's not supposed to be this tough to kill a, or to skin an animal. Unless you're supposed to only now go for chickens. That's going to be difficult. Okay, you can force through the window over there. Or we can force through over here. No. Okay. Yeah, but why chance death? Why chance it? Let's just go. <laughs> uh, if, if I'm playing around right there uh, now, I might regret it later. Okay, another ATM. Down. Boom. Oh, this bookstore over here. I hate this bookstore. It used to be really, really good because these books in the windows, you could actually loot some of them. It used to be you could loot all of them. And then uh, the I think the mod, uh, the POI creator made it so you can only loot half of them. Or it might be an Alpha 21 thing, the way they sp uh, spawn now. But now you can't loot any of them. You have to break through concrete or bulletproof glass to be able to try and loot them. Just to realize, oh crap, I can't loot these at all. It's a massive, massive waste. I thought you might be able to still fill up from these. There's now just the working sinks and any water source. I should probably just first fill up the jars at her fountain and then talk to her. No, we have to talk to the scout first because the scout's going to send us to a different place. Remember, it's very random where the scout sends you. So you take the scout quest first and then the trader quest tells you where to go so it's easier to accept her quest. Okay, yep, nope, 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 nope. Come on, come around. Crap, he's fast. I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Okay, um... Please don't go inside. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, I want to see if I destroy a half side of the tent. Imagine this destroys the whole tent. I need to be able to see him to be able to shoot him. This is going to be annoying. Trying to get him to stand still long enough to be able to shoot him in the head. Oh, I don't have any ammo left on me for him. Oh, damn. Okay. Let me talk to you first. Can I help you? It probably doesn't matter what I'm wearing right now. Yes, let's go for Molotovs. Nice. Any more jobs? Cable guys, can that's for you? some possible nails. If you're lucky, you can actually get nails from that. Because they, uh, the bags, they drop. So we have to go north. Please tell me you have something for me right now. Well, here's your pay for a job well done. Ooh, the game wants me to burn them alive. Hello, Cream. Thank you. Uh, we're going for jobs. North. Damn. Okay, this one's super close, so we can I do this one. Okay. Be careful. I was really and hoping she'd send me super close by. Kill. We can actually quickly go do this uh, rest stop, I think. This one can do this. Okay, so for ammo, we have to drop all of this. Make sure we have this on us. I'm really hoping dying doesn't delete stuff. Because we haven't died yet. Uh, yet. So, yeah, you don't know. And might be. I need to make more storages as well. Food and drink, we'll just quickly take this. And for water, one of these. Okay, let's go. This stop is right close by us. We can also all uh, also go over here and just buy all of these. Yeah, we have the cash, yes. I think I should probably put the automatic gun there. So it's easier to uh, just grab if I needed it. Careful of any ferals. You're just a utility worker. Though it just feels like an understatement. That could have smacked me just now. Nice. Nice. See, it's just a fetch quest. So we don't even have to go upstairs and clear this place normally. But, I mean, while we're here, we can just about, right? Be careful of any birds. Be careful of any zombies. Hello, I knew there was a zombie somewhere over here. It seems I set them alight easier with the left click than with the right click. And by the time they're burning, they're already... Oh, that's... 
done for them. That's locked. No zombie in there. Okay, I can place a frame there if I really need to get out. This is locked. Oh, that's a feral zombie. Why can't you place certain blocks? That just now, it's almost like a nerd pole. It doesn't allow me to block certain places. That is really bad if you're not able to actually block off any doorways. Okay, so the fetch is right on the other side over there. Look down for feet, look up. Basically, as you clear a doorway, you look down for feet to see if the zombies are on the other side. And when you clear over here, you have to look for zombies on top. No feet, no zombies. There might be a sleeper upstairs. I wonder why only some of them are... Like, it's only after you shoot them where you can actually see what they are. Okay, if I had bones on me, I can repair this knife now. Okay, there's a cop in there, there's ferals in there. That's not a cop. Oopsie, almost smacked me. See, it's just a fetch. I didn't have to go and try and clear it, but now there's a lady behind me that's just dude in front of me. I think it's basically a headshot only. Nope. It's insane difficulty. Make sure there's no one else spawning in over here. I, de I definitely, I definitely, definitely technically need all of these. Oh, she vomited through that just now. All of these fences, but the fact that she can do that, no thank you. Let's go hand this in. Yeah, that is super, super dangerous. <laughs> Holy crap. I need better. I need a better bow. I think I can make a better one. Um, I might be able to make a level three, though, if I can put one more point into Robin Hood. And the higher the skill in Robin Hood, the better. Because the... No, no, that's weapon crafting and bow crafting. But the, if you go into Robin Hood, you can actually fire two arrows, then three arrows. So I can't wait to be able to do that. I should probably go and close that, that door quickly. Well, that didn't take long. Nice no. work. Uh, food. Any more recipes? Jobs? I need to go for, for ones that are super, super close. You look like you could handle your... Oh, I would kiss you. I wonder if I should first open trade routes before she gives me another oh, tier quest. Because I had this problem in the insane series as well. The hardcore series. Where she kept giving me tier 1 quests. If I have some nails, we might have to make some nails again. Oh, wait, wait, we were making over here. Yes, I can make another writable storage. Although, we definitely need wood, I think. No, okay, cool. Yes, awesome. So, I just want to make sure I'm space over here a little bit more, because I, I want to separate the guns and the weapons and stuff, because it's getting a little bit full over here. But so far, guys, we are doing really, really well. I mean, it's day four, uh, Horde Knight's approaching, so that's going to be a fun experience. Oh, I should probably put that on. But yeah, Horde Knight's going to be an interesting experience. If I can actually survive that. I need a lot of Molotovs and stuff by then, so I don't want to waste these. And then hopefully during Horde Knight, we can level up quite a bit because I need to reach level 30 for that watch. But yeah, if you guys liked this episode, leave a like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Hell on Earth. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.